Hey, what is up guys, NinjaBenji1 here, and today I am bringing you my top 3 first person shooter games on Steam that are free. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So the, game the gameplay you're watching right now is from a game called Cerverium. Cerverium is a pretty good game, it's got some very nice graphics. I gotta say it could be a AAA. This game is in beta though, which means you, can you could find mini bugs. I myself have not found very much. I gotta say this game is very nice, there is a very active community on it, there's a lot of people playing it. Uh, it's got mixed reviews on Steam, you know. I don't see how, the game is pretty good compared to a lot of other first person shooter games on this. Um, right now you're watching this on the highest settings I believe, and I gotta say the game looks pretty good. So you know, this is a post apocalyptic setting, um, basically there's two or three different types of groups that are basically fighting against each other for resources and stuff like that. I think this game is very cool, if you like it I think you should go check it out, link to this game will be in the description, and let's get on to number 2. Alright, here on our number 2 list is Heroes and Generals. Heroes and Generals is a free to play game where Germany, the United States, and the Soviet Union are fighting for victory in one war. You have to fight and you have to make friends as a team no matter what you play as. You can play as infantry, tank crew, fighter pilot, paratrooper, recon, or general. Or general. And whatever you are makes a huge impact on the game you are playing. So as you can see here, we got some pretty nice graphics in this game too. This game, you know, it's pretty good for a free to play game. Uh, I can't I can't say it's excellent, but this game is one of my favorites out of the free-to-play games. Um, the graphics, like I said, they're pretty good. You're seeing this on the highest settings possible for this game. I think it looks quite nice. And this game also has got quite a lot of players playing on it, so you'll never have a problem finding a match. And you'll always be able to find people to play with, and communities pretty mm, not toxic I guess compared to other ones and this game is pretty good if you're looking for something that's not too long and that you can play with friends and that's easy to get the hang of this game is definitely not hard to learn to play at all as you can see you well graphics pretty good like I've said many times already but yeah I'll leave you here with this game play for a few more seconds and then we'll go on to our number three spot Alright guys, so here in our number 3 spot, we got Planet Side 2. Planet Side 2 is a game where you're on a huge map with many different areas, with thousands and hundreds and thousands of players playing, who you can all team up against or battle against. Where there are three different factions, where they're all fighting against each other. And they're all doing like missions against the opposing people. You have to use all your infantry, air and ground vehicles included, to destroy your enemy enemies in this huge massive scale first person shooter. So as you can see, there are many people in this game. You will never have trouble finding anyone to play with in this game at all. This game is quite fun. You get the hang of, hang of it quite fast, you might forget a few controls here and there, but you can always find them in the settings. So I believe this is on high settings. As you can see, the graphics are pretty nice. Once I respawn, of course, you can see. The graphics are pretty nice. This game looks very nice. And it's not a bad game overall. I would definitely recommend this to you guys if you're looking for a game that's easy to play and fun to play. Which simple, well, kind of advanced, but not too advanced mechanics. Movement mechanics, of course. You could choose the Light Assault, which of course gives you a jetpack. And I'm not sure what class I'm using actually, but you have stealth, which is basically you turn invisible. This is pretty much 
pretty fun game. I play a lot of the time. I would definitely recommend this to you guys. So if you want, check it out. Link to this game will be in the description too. And yeah, this is number three. I'll leave you with some more gameplay and I'll see you all in the next video.